a legendary CSGO collector, has just been trade banned. And in the process, Valve has nuked one of the most expensive collections of skins in the game. Over $2 million of Kato 2014 skins are potentially gone forever. And not only that, this is not a normal ban. So what's happened here? Who is this guy? What skins did he have? And why did Valve decide he had to go? Well, we are going to be taking a look. Now, this video is sponsored by Skinport, the easy to use skins marketplace where you can sell your skins for real cash. Skinport has a huge range of skins, over 220,000 of them at prices miles cheaper than the Steam market, up to 35% off. You can purchase skins in an instant, just pick what you want and straight up buy it. There is no need to deposit and there are no hidden fees. There's also a high definition screenshot feature built into the site itself so you can see exactly what you're getting before you buy. The site is also super highly rated on Trustpilot with a 4.9 out of 5 star rating. It is completely safe and reliable to use so I highly recommend checking it out. Link is in the description. Now, the guy we're going to be looking at is called QKSS, and he is not a first-time offender. A few years ago, he had a couple of accounts with truly bonkers skins. Now, it is so long ago at this point, it's hard to even track exactly what he owned, but he definitely had at least eight Titan Hollows, eight Dignitas Hollows, eight Vox Hollows, and about 40 Cato 2014 Holocrafts, including this thing, which is worth $150,000 these days or something like that. But in late 2018, he made the unfortunate decision to lend his account to a streamer to play on, and that streamer was this guy. Okay, so I'm kidding about that, but the streamer was a cheater, and he got the account banned. Now, today, that account would be worth a seven-figure sum, but at the time it was banned, those skins were only a couple of hundred K, which is obviously not cheap, but it is a lot less than a million. And in any case, QKSS was not gonna let that ban stop him. In fact, he simply made another account and rebought the most expensive collection of Kato 2014 stuff in the entire game, which is where this account comes from. Now, based on the name, I'm guessing he got quite a bit of spam. He's been private for years for that matter, but behind that account was a collection of skins that was nothing short of legendary. Or at least there was until a couple of days ago when he got everything banned again. Now, before we dig into why he's been banned, I want to have a look at the collection itself. Unfortunately, CSGO Exchange's history function doesn't seem to work anymore, but we do have this screenshot here, as well as a complete registry of all his skins on float.db. So there is plenty to go off and oh, <laughs> Oh God, let's just start with the stickers. This dude had 17 Reason Hollows. Now, these stickers are worth about $40,000 each. So that's about $680,000 of stickers gone right there. And not only that, there's only 33 other tradable Reason Hollows known. So this just wiped out over 30% of the known supply. He also had 10 Vox Hollows, that's roughly $180,000 of stickers gone right there. Luckily, they're not quite as rare as far as the publicly known supply goes anyway, and he also lost a juicy eight LDLC hollows. That's another casual $160,000 down the drain there, and that's before we count the Eyebow Power and Clan Mystic stickers he had. Quite the L, but again, that's just the stickers. Let's take a look at some of the crafts that were in his inventory too. Highlights include a low flow times four Iber Power Hollow Dragon Lord, that is a six figure skin, and also a low flow times four Titan Hollow Medusa. This one might not be six figures, but it's still pretty expensive. Also, a low float times four Titan Poseidon, a times four Dinus Hollow Akihabara Accept, a times four Reason Hollow Stat Track AK Asimov. By the way, this is probably one of the nicest skins I've ever seen. I had no idea this combo was so good. And he's also got a times four Reason Hollow M4A4 Asimov. These are all top tier crafts, the best of the best you can get. But QK says does not limit his $40,000 stickers to nice skins. In fact, his inventory contains some of the grisliest atrocities I've ever seen. I mean, he's got an ocean foam with four reason hollows, an ocean foam with four dig hollows, and an ocean foam with four vox hollows. That's about $300,000 of stickers. Obviously, they're old crafts from a very long time ago, but it's still kind of amazing to see them collected like this. He's also got this Nova Tempest, and yes, there is one on the back too. It's kind of insane. And not to mention, this 5.7 Kami, which, don't get me wrong, looks insane, but it is still 160 grand of stickers on a $2 skin. And he also owns this, 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 and this. All in all, 
pretty insane inventory. We're talking well over $2 million of skins and stickers here. Well, actually it's worth nothing out because Valve banned this dude. Okay, so what's going on? Why is this guy banned? Well, a quick look at Steam Rep shows he doesn't have a trade ban or a VAC ban. He's actually got a community ban. And this ban is a bit different to the other two. And by different, what I really mean is worse. Community bans prevent you from selling or trading your skins. Oh, you've got a nice inventory, do you? Ha ha, too bad, it's lost forever now. But you're also prevented from doing pretty much anything else on Steam other than buying or playing game. Also, your profile is forcibly set to private with no actual this account is set to private message on it. Pretty serious stuff. So what do you get this ban for? Well, this is where this story gets a little bit strange. So the reasons for a community ban include the use of graphic or otherwise inappropriate avatar screenshots and artwork, spamming the community, inappropriate language, harassing other users, continuing to post moderated content, and posting content related to racism and other forms of bigotry. Now, here's a question. Why would Mr. Don't f***ing add me I don't want to talk to you be doing any of this stuff? I mean, I don't know. I do not get the impression this dude is spreading any sussy Among Us copy passes on random people's profiles. He just doesn't seem like that sort of guy. I, I don't think he's interacting much in the community and I don't see him getting a community ban for any of this sort of stuff. But there is an extra reason you can get a community ban. The violation of any paragraph of the Steam subscriber agreement and Steam online conduct. Now, this is basically Valve's way of saying, we can ban you just because we feel like it. And I mean, it's their, their platform. So yeah, yeah, they can do that. But this one is a bit more spicy because it's not unheard of for a big trader to get a community ban based on this. Enter J4. He's from Moscow and niche skins are his passion or they were his passion because Valve slapped a community ban on him. And we know from his interactions with Steam support the justification that Valve gave. His account was being used for commercial purposes. Now, obviously commercial purposes can't just mean trading. Valve invented skins for trading. That is why they exist. Clearly that is not their definition of commercial purposes. But what they do mean by this isn't entirely clear and the bans aren't even consistent. Sometimes accounts get a shadow trade ban rather than a community ban. And this ban is just that. It is a trade ban that you can't see. I'm guessing the community bans are done manually and the shadow bans are done by a bot, but no one really knows for sure. All that is clear is that Steam accounts do sometimes get slapped with these bans. And this is where things get interesting because they may not be entirely random. I've looked into quite a few of these bans before and there's always one or more clear factors that could have played into it. Sometimes the account kind of looks like a bot, sometimes the account is a bot, sometimes the account is automating things, but more often than not, the account is involved in scamming or at the very least is enough of a low baller that they've probably annoyed enough people to get reported on Steam. And J4 is no exception. He's been accused of sharking people. And this is very interesting to me because recently a user got a community ban due to using their account for commercial purposes overturned. And in the response he got from Steam support, it appears to state that users were specifically reporting him. It doesn't say for what exactly, but it sounds like there were actual people complaining about something he'd done. So is there a connection? Look, I'm not saying these guys necessarily deserve the bans. In fact, typically I don't think they do. And I've no idea why they would opt to ban certain scammers like this rather than just via a normal trade ban. It's quite weird. I don't have an explanation for that part, but I still don't think what's happening is completely random either. And I suspect that extends to Mr. Don't add me over here. Unfortunately, without more information about this guy, I can't really say what it might be. He's quite secretive, it may never come out, but my experience is there tends to be a reason, or sometimes even a couple of them. I mean, this is a guy that lent had his account to a cheater before. He's clearly not that careful, but this also has a couple of implications. Firstly, this ban is probably permanent. Community bans can be temporary, but these ones generally aren't. So, rip skins. That said though, Sometimes, sometimes but not always, these things are able to be lifted. And I'm particularly interested in what happens if this one gets overturned, because if it does, I reckon there's a chance QKSS might try to offload all his stuff. And if he does, that might seriously mess with prices. He's got a lot of Cato 2014s, only short term though, long term it won't matter that much. It'll just be interesting for a few months. But anyway, 
That's all we really know about the story for now. It's quite a crazy band. I've never seen one quite like this. If you enjoyed this vid, please like, comment, and subscribe. Massively appreciated. Otherwise, trust the numbers, not your guts. I'm Jesus. Thanks for watching. See ya.